Aquarius, welcome. Doing your heart spread now. This is going to be for the first half of October. First to the 15th, however you want to look at it. Using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. And, uh, you know, heart spreads eight cards that came up with it. Um, looks at uh, whoever's on your mind, whoever's in your heart. Um, I'm still experimenting with Facebook, uh, with the YouTube, and uh, I do have links to Facebook and articles uh, there that I do on astrology and tarot. But, uh, you know, trying to figure out what to really call uh, this uh, reading, because uh, I call it the heart spread. But really, no one really knows what that means, and then you have to explain it. So it's just looking at you and your other person, a kind of astrologer. So I think of the first six cards, kind of sinistry cards. Looking at kind of how you're working together, get some advice how that might be going, uh, and then advice from spirit on the relationship as a whole with the last two cards, and I, that kind of to me feels more like the composite energy uh, of a, a relationship chart, and um, <clears throat> usually gets to the heart of the matter. So uh, shuffled uh, previously, a real a hard time taming myself down today. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on, uh, so like I shuffled for <laughs> I don't know how many times. Until I felt like I was calm enough to do the reading. <laughs> mm. Excuse me, I have coffee. Um, so, we're going to look at you here. This is your energy in the round relationships, where your mind and heart is at. Um, there's Saturn also comes to mind in Aquarius, because, you know, it's uh, kind of a Capricorn card. It's King of Pentacles. Definitely, uh, I see Saturn energy. So, what does that mean? In the round relationships, where your mind and heart is at, and I kind of use this as a baseline, try to detach it from your person, which could be the next pull. Um, you're strong, and you're solid, you're King of Pentacles. Um, you can take care of yourself, you can take care of other people, you're dependable, you're good for your word. Um, if you're cross-watching for uh, Aquarius, um, that's, yeah, you can, whatever they're telling you, that they're gonna tell you like it is. Um, they're good for whatever they say, they take care, you take care of things. It's a great energy coming in a relationship with, you know? Only thing I'd say about it is uh, now what when you're in the king energy, now you really want to meet someone who, if they're not a king or, you know, it's not male or female, of course, but someone that has that high energy, someone a little bit older, has some life experience, a little worldly. They know how things work. They know how to handle things. They totally know how to handle themselves. They can even take care of themselves. They don't need anyone to help them pay the bills. Make it simple. King of Pentacles energy. <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, this goes all kind of places. <laughs> all right, uh, this is bad. This is six of wands, you know, fire signs, actions. Uh, look at the picture. I'm really an intuitive reader. So, I mean, well, this, this kind of tells the story right here. Here's you and here's your person. So, uh, you're older, more mature, uh, responsible. Uh, this person's coming in with the six of wands energy. Um, you see he's holding up his laurels there. If you're old enough to remember riding on your laurels. Um, but this someone's going to be younger than you. Uh, you're going to consider them to be attractive. Probably are attractive. They might be athletic. Six of Wands or someone's physical. They can do yoga if they want to. <laughs> I can't. I tried. I mean, I can do like this ridiculous version. But they can do yoga. They look good in their yoga pants, man or woman. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know? Um... And they're, they're looking at you, but they're kind of like riding high, riding high. And you, you may consider them a catch uh, here, Aquarius, um, somehow. Um, and uh, kind of be impressed that they would take an interest in you in a way. Which is weird, because I was saying, like, you typically really not how the King of Pentacles is going to think. King of Pentacles, you, anyone goes for the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is thinking, what can you do for me? Last thing on their mind, or Queen of Pentacles, is... You know, oh my God, do you think, I, I wonder if they like me. They don't, they don't even think like that. But yet, with you, I think, tell me this is not true or not your reading. You're kind of thinking like that as a King of Pentacles. You're like, oh my God, do they like me? How does my hair look? Um, and it's like, you're thinking you're, right away, I think, like, you'd be like, you'd have to realize something's a little different here. This person's getting to you, you know, and it's like sexual, yeah, magnetic kind of connection. I feel it. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Now, what are you meeting their Six of Wands with? Because now, this is your energy that shows me how you're reacting to this person. King of Pentacles is your set. That's where you're at. Uh, but now, when you're with them, how does that change when you get into the relationship? 
oh yeah, you're a little girl or you're a little boy and you're just all about them, man. Look at that night coming at you. You know, there you, you're like, this could be, you know, met across a crowded bar, locked eyes. That's not exactly soulmate energy yet, I'm not seeing, but definitely a Uranus energy in a chart, astrologer too. So this is Uranus, really good, close trying to uh, Venus, you know, or Mars, or Uranus conjunct Venus or Mars, something like this. And it bring in this strong magnetic pull. And it's like, um, I gotta be honest, I'm not saying he did this, but the energy of this could even be like, you meet in a bar, it might not be your thing, I've never done it, but you find yourself making love in the bathroom before you even leave, like when you just met. I mean, it's that kind of powerful, kapow. And you, you know, maybe you never did that before in your book, you know. Um, so, let me see how they feel about you. Uh, six of Swords. Wow. I'm thinking about that. I kind of get chills as I see it. This is how they're feeling about you. Now, it's very important uh, how to read this, or how this is supposed to be read. This is their feelings about you. So I don't read here any past feelings. It's not what we're asking spirit, because the question's so important. So it's kind of hard for me to see, are they in reaction to you and your passion? Are they leaving someone else and just going to you? And if so, uh, this would be uh, them leaving under uh, maybe dubious circumstances, literally in the night, uh, secretly collecting their stuff while someone's at work, yeah, uh, whatever, and coming to you. And like is showing up on your doorstep and like wet and cold or something uh, in the middle of the night. That's kind of what I get this, uh, this scenario. And it's like maybe, I'm guessing, King of Pentacles kicks in because King of Pentacles is like, ah, man, you know, this is a little disheveled, man. <laughs> you know, because getting disheveled. This person's now disheveled. Um, but it's like they're definitely coming to you, but they might be coming to you out of some kind of distress. I have to have more coffee. Forgive me. Um. I don't say it's bad yet. Sometimes that's how relationships happen, man. Maybe you would run into each other in the parking lot and lock eyes and uh, be uh, go out for a cup of uh, coffee together and you know uh, hook up that very day. You know, I th however you guys, it would just be intense. And so let's go on and see what the advice from spirit is for you with your person and for your person with you. Love it if there's cross watcher of Aquarius. I feel you. Been there. And this Aquarius, you're strong. So you can handle, if someone's going to go to someone, probably ain't going to be you. You ain't going to be showing up on the doorstep like a wet rabbit at 2 o'clock in the morning. You're the king of pentacles. But someone might well show up on your doorstep. Okay, guys, here comes. I said there wasn't a uh, strong emotional soulmate connection. Spirit's saying that there is. Here's how it works. I'm an astrologer telling you. If you have Uranus in a close aspect like that to Venus and Mars, these personal planets, male and female planets, particularly a woman, and it's the Venus, particularly a man, it's the Mars, that's karmic. That it's, Our charts are a star map of our soul's purposes here. Put them together, what do you see? All the karmic interactions. Thing is, lots of karmics, all karmics, how everything's orchestrated. It's a matter of how powerful. But I think with the six of cups, you just look at this card, this is the universe telling you, take note, you have a soulmate connection here. And basically, it, it wants that to resonate. And it's coming under the King of Wands. So I'm trying to say very directly, just because there's a fire and a conflagration and sexual, doesn't mean it isn't deep and real and karmic also. If there's any doubt along those lines, you know. Nine of Wands. They're putting something down. This is not a reaction to you. I Because I, I don't see you burdening them. Nine of Wands. This is a spirit giving them advice. Okay? About you. And I don't think spirit's telling them, look, you know, uh, your Aquarius is burdening you. You got to put put them down. Um, you know? It's, uh, 
this person probably gone through a lot of turmoil. Here's the deal. I get the feeling, uh, Aquarius, you're a more stable person. I'm not saying you haven't gone through turmoil, but I think relative to them, you haven't. Uh, this person, even though they're younger, um, they've had a lot of sexual partners. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying uh, may not exactly have been their choice. You know, maybe they're trying to find the right one. Um, but there, and also this person, like man or woman, it almost works against them how beautiful they are, because you know, uh, if uh, what you know, it happens with men too. Women, I know, you know, if a really you come up with this really beautiful person, particularly if there's that Uranus charge there that hits you, um, you kind of fall in love quicker. I'm telling you. Now maybe you say, no, no, I don't. I'm a queer. I got Aquarius Venus. You kidding me? I'm solid as a rock. No, it's it can go that way. And this person, they probably picked this up at an early age. Like there's studies done, you know, even in school, a, 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 a relatively attractive young child, kind of sick, but or male or female, the teachers are going to tend to give them better grades and better reports. They're going to perceive them in a different way, in a in a whiter light, in a nicer light, in a Neptunian false uh, halo or glow, uh, simply based upon their physicality. And so um, this person, um, it, it's almost irresistible, uh, it, particularly imagine that the adolescence, it, we're animals primed at adolescence to literally form our sexual identity and strategy for life, and they find out at at their adolescence, suddenly that men will give them all kind of attention if they're coy or whatever. And, you know, it's natural to go that way. It's the same thing for a guy. I can see that with women. You know, young young kids that hit adolescence, the aunts, the friends of the mother, come on. They're like, oh my God, if I was a little younger, you were so hot, you were so handsome. And when you punch any of us at that uh, behavioral phase that's designed by nature to imprint permanently our sexual identities, it could have us form your sexual identity. And essentially, you're being told you're a hot commodity. So go ahead and do what you want. Uh, men are easy to get, women are easy to get. And uh, now you get the opposite. You're, you're more caring and concerned because you realize it's diff more difficult to get someone. So I think they were like heavily imprinted. Uh, they've kind of had this kind of behavioral aspect their whole life. Um, here's the thing though, um, where the Six of Cups comes in so strong. I mean, you could literally be the first one that's ever really seen them, ever really looked beyond the Barbie doll boy facade of perfection that they have, and that just kind of mind blowing, and kind of looked inside and said, hey, I see you in there. Hello in there, what's going on? What What's going on with you? How are you feeling? And that's why they show up on your doorstep like a wet rabbit at two o'clock in the morning. Overall energy, queen of pentacles. I believe they can rise to meet you. You're king of pentacles, right? That's what that is. They can rise to meet your king of pentacles. That's the overall energy of this. There's a stability. It's all you, Aquarius. <clears throat> But if the moss seeks stability, is it that make them give uh, give the moss some credit for that? The moss coming to you for stability. Judgment. This is advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. And you know, judgment is being called up. And I'm going back to your six of cups here. Um, your person it needs to realize, and I think they will, and I think that's what this judgment is about that this is a deeper relationship probably than they've ever had in their life, that this relationship and this, this time right now that we're in, uh, see the Soul Family Read if you would and see if you resonate, but it's a daily read up for the weekend uh, and now. And um, this is a huge life cycle going on. So it's like both of you need to consider and are considering and just are advised and it just is a fact that this is a powerful soulmate connection. And for both of you to accept this relationship, it would be like rising up to, to judgment day. And uh, that's that whatever it is we feel like we've always needed to do, wanted to do, had to do, but we somehow couldn't do or were afraid to do or from blocked from doing. And uh, 
it's calling us up and saying it's time, it's time to do this, to rise up to this level. Um, and it does make a judge, it does involve a judgment. We have to basically say, it's kind of like a state to the universe, yes, I'm really ready now, I'm not playing. Um, and for them, um, you know, it could be quite transformational. And I, when I see the King of Pentacles over here, see this a lot, okay? If, if you're honest with yourself, if, if this person, they want to let go of the drama, they got two let go, six of swords and nine of wands. They, that's nice because I think they, like you don't want them at the wet rabbit at two, you could deal with that. But then the next day there's an ex-boyfriend with a gun or, you know, don't want that. I don't think they're going to do that. They're going to just shed that stuff. So they're going to come to you like disheveled, uh, but kind of clear of baggage, and except for emotional. And, you know, so I believe relationships are how we heal, how we grow. It's what we're here for. And you guys are karmically uh, contracted uh, to do this together. Um, so don't be surprised if there's all kinds of healing. I mean, you're riding in with the Knight of Wands. Uh, you're the knight in shining armor here. Uh, make no mistake. It could be reversed, but that's how it feels to me. You would be the knight in shining armor very much, Chris, riding in here and um, saving them. Wow. I'm not going to clarify this. Uh, look for Capricorn rising or ascendant in your composite relationship chart. You get that if you have your climbs um, on Astro or Cafe, I think, does it. And, Astro Seek is good, it's real simple, uh, but gives full readings. So with the devil being the outcome, I'm not going to say it's bad, but, you know, it's going to mean that there's also then some kind of plutonic connection. Uh, there's aspects in astrology, this lady named Jules, fucking mad genius astrologer, specializing in relationships, um, and she has a couple pieces on what it means to have a plutonic relationship. Not the one where you don't have sex, but the one based around the energy of the planet Pluto and the 8th house and Scorpio energy and all that. Um, again, I told you it's kind of karmic. So uh, what this is going to mean, I think your Knight of Wands is, is up for it, is you're not only going to have a, this person particularly is going to feel this, right? I don't know, for you, it could be like all process, sort of letting go of control um, and... That could play out sexually, and it's okay, I say. So, you know, you're going to come together um, emotionally, uh, spiritually, sexually, and it's going to be a plutonic, intense. It could be a period of transformation. Pluto just yesterday went direct at, uh, I think, 23, 24, 24 Capricorn, right? Um, it's posing my moon now it's going to be immediate soon it's not my last really tough one for me but um, it's that kind of energy and you might see that too in your individual charts you know some kind of challenging Pluto transformative energy uh, you, you know you've got the progressed AC hitting Pluto or there's so many things it could be but it's going to be around Pluto so like I said originally this powerful sexual attraction that brought you in it was like, a thing, I'm sorry, but this is the way it is. It was like spirits, a little like a, a honey trap to get you guys sucked into this whole karmic work that you've, got, you've, you've agreed to do anyway. So um, it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, you know, and it'll be what you make of it. So um, um, I'd take it, Venus and Scorpio, in a heartbeat. This is like so intense and juicy, you know, absolutely love it. So... You know, thank you, Aquas.